Hello, and welcome to Steve Discovery. Today we are following a very aged Steve here. His hair has turned white, and his skin very, very dark, with a little bit of red. You must learn why. This Steve has been followed by the Steve Discovery Network for a while, and has shown unusual habits in its pathways. Perhaps we will learn more about this grand creature by following it. Currently, he starts his day off by running through the... Today we are now following a grand, golden-footed steed as it makes its way across the jungle. A very pensive sort, as he continues his way chopping the grass. He probably was a lawn care technician before he was thrown into such a grand survival of self-discovery and commitment. Ah, he encounters another breed of his own, a golden-footed steed, trying to mate with them and spread their genes across nature. Ah, that looks like a very satisfactory ending. Oh, what a grand, grand and beautiful land we did. Let us follow this footed Steve, this golden footed Steve, this golden footed Steve. There he is. Ah, look at all these Steves in the area. They must have all been friends before the cruel act of nature's desperation tore them asunder. Now they must slap each other in the face until they gain the very necessary resources that will permit their survival. Oh, such strange creatures, as they try to fight over dominion over the small grassy area. Ah, oh, one has fallen. It appears that the other one is not too happy about that. A oh, strange sort of creature. But, alas, it is the strangeness that makes us love him so much. Let us observe this bow-wielding steed. Oh, it appears that our cameraman has fallen. Ah, a wooden stick steed. Let us bring him up the hillside to see what grand things he can do as he stands atop the foot. Oh, we see some communication occurring between the Steves. This has been known to happen most often with the Alpha and Beta leaders of the pack. For alas, Steves tend to be quite bad suck-ups and cannot be very honest with one another when they just need resources. If only these thieves learned to communicate and just told each other their needs, perhaps we could learn better that these thieves are all in the same survival together. But alas, it appears that the Steve has no mouth, or at least no form of communication. Perhaps they do have a form of communication, but they are just too lazy to use it. Let us continue with following these thieves up the hillside as we learn more and more. We here at the Steve Discovery Network have learned something quite peculiar about the Steves. For well, in fact, they do something strange with their sticks when they want to don't to commit violence with Steve's. Alas, perhaps that we will learn more that not to uh, go good. 